Hello, everybody. I am so sorry that we are starting late. Um, it's because we're waiting on the mystery box that was supposed to be released at noon, the same time as my video. So I postponed my video from noon until 1, and it's 1.48. We just released the mystery box. So I couldn't tell you why. Um, yes, we are live. Okay. Yep, we are live everywhere. We are live on YouTube. On, um, where's my, I'm right here. We're live on YouTube. We're live in my Patreon Facebook group. We're live in my Cricut Design Space Facebook group. Um, so welcome, everybody. So sorry we're live, but uh, I didn't want to get interrupted by everything. So um, first I want to say we have a crop tonight, 8 p.m. It won't be delayed unless I oversleep. I have to take a nap. I didn't get to sleep till after 3.30 a.m. Just couldn't sleep. Um, we are going to be doing this project tonight. It is a pinwheel card and I'm going to color it a little bit. So there's that. Uh, if you support me on Patreon for $5 or more, there is a link to the Zoom and a post and there should be a reminder going out today also to share that link. Uh, I'm feeling better today. I was feeling good yesterday. Last night was a different story, but um, I'm feeling good right now. I'm getting better. It's just a cold. Nothing to worry about. Um, all right, so today we are doing these boxes. There are three. I made little tags. It's showing upside down on this one. Here's another one. This one's empty. The other one has a lot of candy in it. This one they just didn't put. I wasn't planning on making this one, but it's like so much fun. So I made this one too. <coughs> Excuse me. I might have a little cough. And then there's a small one. So the small one is only 2.5 inches. This is holding two of those chocolate squares. You know, the... I forgot what they're called. They're like this big. <coughs> I wasn't coughing all day until right now. Um, <coughs> uh, let's go to the other ones. I'm going to take a drink. The small one is awesome because it doesn't come in two pieces. So these come in two pieces. This one, I just added this organza ribbon. I should have used the organza ribbon instead of this thin ribbon. For one, it's prettier. I just put it on there because this was kind of ugly, but then I tied a knot around this to keep it on, but then it went through. We'll go ahead and open this one. So it has a lot of these little mints in here. It's five inches on the bottom, but then when you put it together, when you're putting something in it, you have to count that it goes in up here. It's about two and a half inches high that it goes in, but it would hold cookies, brownies, treats, uh, earrings, jewelry, bracelets, necklaces, any small item that you could use as a gift. This one I like not only, oh, my other monitor has a different video playing. Let me just click on that to stop that video. Um, you know, I just added these gift tags. This is made out of completely free shapes. I even made the gift tag out of free shapes. There are tons of tags in Design Space, but I wanted this to be if somebody did not have Cricut access, so you can use it, you can cut it completely free. This is foiled paper. The, the thing I like about this one 
it's in one piece. These are two pieces. So these take two mats. This one takes one mat, you get two boxes. So you, if you're making a lot of these, like I thought these would be even cute for like uh, little wedding gifts. You can put those mints inside. Um, you know what I mean? To like sit on the tables or give a little gift to everybody. Um, like if you're making a lot of these. Or uh, Maria said she likes to put treats inside her kids' lunches. Like a little box like this would be great. This could also be a Christmas ornament. It could also be for a Halloween to put treats in for Valentine's Day. This pack of paper also comes with little hearts. I almost used the little hearts. That would be perfect for Valentine's Day. Um, and they're once you get going, they're easy. This one is the medium. It's four inches on the bottom. And this could be put in a tree also. Um, and a bigger tree, not a small tree. But I love this ribbon. This is just organza ribbon. Um, okay, I'm, I'm trying to read your chat also. Let me bring my mouse over here so I can. Okay. Um, I also want to show you my test cuts because um, this this was my first test cut. Now, it wasn't too bad. I cut these parts with scissors because the box just wasn't working. I'm like, I need to cut some of that out. So I just used scissors after it's all put together and made this box. It doesn't look too bad. The curving here isn't too bad. But the reason I'm showing you this is because your first box, you may want to practice um, first. Okay, now let me show you something else. This is my second box. I didn't glue the bottom part. Look how horrible that is. This is the second one. It looks worse than the first one, but let me tell you why and why I'm glad I did this because I learned a lesson. Now see, this side and this side isn't too bad. I used, um, I must have put the texture side down on the mat with these two. With this one, see, I this is textured. You can see texture. I don't know if you can, but I can. This one is smoother. So these don't even match that well, even though they're the same paper, because one side is textured and one side is not. So I glued this on so they don't match, but what's even worse is because I glued, I scored this side up, so I, I put it on the mat, and we're going to actually cut one out so you can understand, and there's uh, different colored. You're going to choose which color of paper first, but um, you have to put the pretty side down. If you're using solid paper like I did on this one, make sure when you fold it, when you uh, put it all together, that the score lines are actually on the inside of the box because this piece, the score lines were on the outside. Look at how horrible that scored. This, I did it where the score lines were on the inside of the box. Now, if you're confused, don't worry. We're going to, I'm going to be putting two boxes together. I have a small one all cut out because I could do two on the same paper. So I went ahead and cut two of these out. This one was easy, but I also need to show you how to do a medium or large. The medium and large are done the exact same way. So this also, I cut out the top with scissors too, because I'm like, this isn't working. And I almost gave up. I did these on Sunday. So I want you to know there's reasons why I tell you to put pretty side down. Okay. So now we have, I was going to use this paper. This paper came from the same one as this one. It was Cricut. I don't think it's any, no longer available. It's, um, 
I can't remember exactly. Do you guys know the name of the paper? It's the Christmas. Um, it has a name, a brand. I can't remember. This one, I think, is Natalie Milan, like watercolor one. So I need you to choose which paper we're going to use. We're going to make a medium box. And I'm going to call this one Christmas because it's from the Christmas pack and this has Christmas trees. So you guys tell me, do you want the one with the Christmas trees or do you want the spring paper? So we're going to call this spring and this one's Christmas. So put in the comments which one you want me to cut. And then um, I'm going to show you where to get this and I'm going to show you how to cut two of them on the same paper. It looks like Christmas. Um, but we're going to go over here. Uh, first, I'm going to show you how to get it. You go to MelodyLaneInspired.com. It looks like Christmas is winning. Uh, and you go to Supporter Projects. If you support my channel for only $2 or more, you get a password. That $2 is through Patreon. Okay, so I put the password in, and right now you can filter these by new. And I did go through the new ones. So here they are right here. Otherwise, and I want to show you there are two pages to this still. So if you missed that one. And I'm thinking about doing this project Thursday night with infusible ink on a t-shirt. What do you guys think? Should I try to do that? I might have to make it a little smaller than that project, but okay. Uh, you can also find these under boxes. There's four pages of boxes. Okay, here they are. So uh, I want to show you this uh, one, the small one. And think Thank you, Jamie, and everybody in the chat who is answering questions. Okay, so here's the curved box. I also want to show you, um, I use the free font too. You can change the font, but I wanted it to be completely free. So in these files, I show you the one that it is. It says curved box small. If you look at the pictures, you can kind of see the size of them with the others. And then on this one, I show you how to cut it on the mat. So if you don't want to rewatch this video and you just want to see how to cut it, it is, if you go back and find the file again, it's right here in the pictures. So we're going to customize and I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm just going to click make it. And I'm going to do on a mat. Robin's Nest of Crafts says she has never seen infusible ink before. I have lots of videos on infusible ink. Watch my videos and you will learn so much. So we, I'm not going to worry about the tag so oh but we want to make two so to make two projects we are going to click two and click apply up here at the top welcome Tori holiday so now we have these two mats and this one so because of this tag the tag will not fit with two of these so I'm going to click this one and click move object and I'm going to put it on the other mat that matches yes you can use 12 by 24 paper if you wanted to and not worry about the two mats so now when I go here it looks like there's just one but that's only because oh what happened <gasps> did I click hide instead of move oh no I did I'm sorry. Let's do that again. If you missed it, here you go. Let's click make it. 
I'm using the Maker 3, so it's asking me about the mat, and I'm going to click to and click apply. I'm going to click on this one that has the tags. I'm not going to click hide selected. I'm going to move object over here. I thought I did that. Didn't I do that? Okay. Well, now it's there. So now what you do is you drag one to the very bottom and it doesn't fit. So we are going to flip this one over. It still doesn't fit. So we're going to move it over this way. I have it angled a little bit, but it's okay. It still fits. Now you have to look down here and make sure I attach these little squares because each, um, project has a little extra square and I'll show you how that is used. Um, so now you can cut two on a mat. So if you're cutting a whole bunch of these, just keep it just like this and then just keep recutting the same mat over and over and over, depending on how many you are doing. Okay, we got that. Okay, now I'm gonna hit cancel or we're just gonna go down here. I want to do the medium box. So I'm going to go back to my projects and click on the medium box. Click customize. You can also, I also did that one and then it just shows that. Okay, so for this one, we are going to click make it on a mat and we're actually going to cut this out done i'm not going to worry about the you know we can scoot this over to save paper so if we wanted to save this paper here we can uh and continue and hit popular medium card stock we're going to remember this because that's what we're doing this time so now we have to put in the scoring tool if you don't have the scoring wheel, you can click on edit projects and use the scoring stylus. I prefer the scoring wheel. I think it scores a little bit better. Okay, uh, now we're going to go here. And one of these things, let me bring the machine up a little. Uh, oh, so we're going to use the Christmas one. I did not curve the score line. I'm going to put this on the mat and I want to make sure I do both of them the same. So I'm just going to flip it over. The trees are facing up. And we're going to change the blade to the scoring wheel. It's the single score wheel. And then we're going to push this in and load the mat. And I push this in while I load the mat. This doesn't take long. Somebody asked how I curved the score line. I didn't curve the score line. I made a shape of that shape that's in the center. So see this shape right here? I turned this shape into a score. I created that shape out of free shapes. paper I think it will work okay this one is kind of directional with the trees so we'll see how that goes 
I wanted to make this one to show um, how it works with the plaid. I think it looks pretty good. Here's where the seam is, but where the seam isn't, here and here, it looks really good. Okay, so now it's ready for the blade. I'm really excited to see what this looks like in other pattern paper and other paper so make sure that you post it if you make it make sure you post it with melody lane inspired so you're entered to win and okay, now i'm gonna bend the mat and peel this off we got our little box up here we have to save that Take this paper off. And we got our tag. It's a beautiful tag. Let me get my other paper. So this one, okay, this is going to be the top. So I'm putting it so the trees are pointing towards the top. And we're going to switch this to the score tool. Whoops. Got to put it in there. We're going to hold this in. Yes. You need to put... I lost my blade. Oh, it fell on the floor. Oh, now it did that because I lifted this up. Because I was looking for my blade. Okay, now hit go. change this and okay look at all my tools in here Is not in design space I designed it with free shapes in design space so I share all my projects with people who support my channel on patreon.com slash melody lane if you support my channel for two dollars you get this 
or you can choose other tiers and you get other benefits you get things back for supporting the channel okay and that's it for this piece okay we're done with this and we're gonna do shout outs real fast here's a shout out to a few Ooh, of the people who support so this small? channel on patreon deborah marcy amber sherry nicola barb phyllis marjorie deborah lisa brenda sedona diana terry lisa gloria gina christina amanda sue yulrick Deidre, Jennifer, Laura, Ann, Dawn, Donna, Jackie, Sheila, Cynthia, Patty, Jerry, Linda, Lauren, Cindy, Penny, Gala, Goat Mama, Teresa, Kathy, Jamie, Nancy, Janet, Susan, Jennifer, Markel, Jennifer, and Barbara. And a huge thank you to my VIPs. I also want to say that I know we are in the Facebook groups and I cannot see anything from the Facebook groups. The chat is not coming through to YouTube. So if you guys are in the Facebook group and you're chatting and asking questions, I can't see it. Okay. Let's put this back over here. First, I'm gonna show you how to do the small one. Because the small one is done, already stuck together, we don't have to put it together. So I'm gonna show you how to do both of them. Uh, what I like to do first is kind of fold them a little. And you know what? I think I forgot to fix this. This cut line here did not go all the way up here. So you can take scissors. I just ripped it a little when I did it. Uh, I, I will try to, after this class, I will try to fix that. I just remembered that. Okay, now these bends between each one of these is gonna actually go the opposite way that you think it's going to go. Now you can see the score lines on this side. I'm also gonna fold this one up. And I'm going to start with the score lines. I like to hold it this way and put my finger down here. And these are going to kind of fold down like this. And like I said, it takes a minute to get it. Hold on a second. I need to move what I am seeing from me in front of me. Yeah, you'll get a lot more chat on YouTube if you come over to YouTube. So now I'm pushing down on this one, keeping my finger on this side of the score line here. And I'm going to go ahead and fold that down too. So now I'm going to do this one. And I just make sure I place my finger here and then kind of bend it. And then I'm going to do the same with this one. I'm putting my finger under here where I don't want it bent. And then here where I do and kind of follow the score line. It's much harder if you were to score it on this side. That's why we're putting pretty side down when we cut it. That's why I wanted to um, show cutting it in the video and didn't have it done ahead of time because I wanted you guys to see it pretty side down. And how many of you are following along cutting this because I know some of you have cut it out already and we're going to follow along with the video 
And if you make it and you're coming to the crop tonight, bring your box. Show us in the crop too. Okay, I think we got all the score lines done. They don't have to be too strong yet. Victoria Cook is following along. So now we're going to kind of flatten it out. I'm going to fold it like this, even though those are folding the wrong way. We're going to put glue on this tab, and then we're going to place that on there and glue this together so it becomes a box. You can use any glue that you like to use for paper. Now, we really need to let this dry. Believe me, <laughs> because if we don't, I've tried many times, I had to re-glue it many times. And, it's, and make sure it's kind of straight. You can um, fold it a little bit here to get it so you know you have it in the right spot. Okay, I'm going to let this dry a little bit, and while we do that, I'm going to go ahead and start the second one. So because this one is in two different pieces, I'm going to start gluing this one together. So we're going to use this tab. You know what, I think I'm going to go ahead and bend these first the score lines here before we glue them together. So if you put your fingers underneath and hold this and then just kind of bend it, then the score line kind of just shows up on its own. This is going to be a pretty box, I think. See, the score line kind of just shows up on its own when you bend it. Okay, I've got all those. See, it doesn't take long once you get the hang of it. I sometimes flip it over like I'm doing just because it's easier than to get the other side. So you just do what you're comfortable with and be comfortable while you do it. Actually, these get folded this way. And I did notice, I haven't had to today, but I do want to share with you, sometimes I put my nail along the fold line and kind of followed it down so it would uh, fold better. Okay, I'm gonna get these glued together. It doesn't matter which one you glue together because it's all gonna be one. I wonder if it's easier this way. I don't know. 
could fold this over. I could fold it over like that and then put this on top of it. There's many ways to glue it together. And then this one, I'll do the same thing. So I'm going to fold this piece over, put glue on it. And then lay this one on top of it. And then turn it over, make sure it's good. Now these do have to dry because trying to do it before they're dry does not work so well. So I'm going to set these to the side and then we're going to go back to this one. <coughs> uh, I think Maymay is still selling the art glitter glue. Okay. Now these bottom pieces, there is one of them that is completely straight and one that is not. One way to tell which one is straight is to close them both like this. And I can see that this one under here is the one that's perfectly straight because I can see the outline. There's extra. This one kind of matches up and this one, the bottom one is bigger. So the straight one goes down last. So we're gonna go ahead and put the bottom of the box together. This one is the straight one. Like I said, if you close it, you can see which one is straight because I see extra room here. So turn it over, look at both sides. Uh, so I'm gonna do one of the ones to the side of it. I'm just gonna fold that down I'm going to add glue to the top of that piece. And then I'm going to fold the opposite side down on it. You can go in here with your hand and push in, push on both sides with your hand. Then, um, which one was the square, solid square? can tell by putting it down. This one is the full square. So we're going to put glue, we can put glue on this side. Push that down and you can push down from the inside. <coughs> and then our last piece. I'm so sorry and then push that down <coughs> okay now what we do is push these in push all the corners in and just push them in till they're all kind of in the center. Now we're not done yet. We just want to make sure that all the pieces are in and they're all working <coughs> and folded correctly. And these little mints fit inside, but I'm going to steal this little mint for my throat. Okay, now we have to do the ribbon. And I'm going to choose a different ribbon.
okay this ribbon does not match but it works so much better than this ribbon oh I did not cut out the extra tag to show you how to put the tag on. So I'm going to take this apart. I'll put the tag on the next one to make sure I show you because I do have that cut. So this one has um, these candies in them, the Ghirardelli. Two of them fit in here. So we put the string, this ribbon, through this hole, and I glued the ribbon through here, and also glued it on there, and then I glued this extra piece on top of that. So the ribbon here is just glued inside. I don't have one cut. Well, I wonder if I can tear this apart. I could just use this one again. I just want to show you how to do it. And then I'll show you with the other one too. Okay. Um, you know what? I'll use this one with that one and I'll go ahead and use this red ribbon again. I cut it about 12 inches, but to be honest, I think that was too long for the small one. I'm going to do 10 inches on this one. I just laid it on my mat and counted the inches. Okay, so we're going to pick one. It doesn't matter which one. And I'm going to stick this through the hole. The smaller one has the smallest holes. I'm going to cut this at an angle so it's easier to go in. I was going to use the glue again, so that's why I didn't put the pin in the glue. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these two pieces of ribbon down onto the square. Just going to put some glue down. I don't want it really sticking out. So I'm going to pull it back in a little more. Okay, we're going to glue that down. We're also going to glue this down. Now, these are kind of glued together because I just ripped it off the other one. But uh, you only need like two inches of ribbon or two and a half inches. And then what I did is I put glue down. This one's not glued. It's not dry yet, but that's okay. I'm going to put glue on top of these ribbons and more around the outside. I'm going to do this and I'm going to do it so it's kind of upside down because when this flips over, it'll be down like that. So I'm going to glue these other two ribbons on here. So they're sitting on glue and I'm put, going to put more glue on top of them. Put more glue all the way around, not to the very edge because this square is a tiny bit smaller than that square. And we're going to hold this down and let that dry. So then when we have this, this 
will come out like that. And then what we do is we push these through this little hole. And I'm going to use a little tool to stick it. You can use an ink pen. I think that's what I used a Cricut pen yesterday when I was doing this. And then you pull that all the way through. And then you go to one of the other ones. I'm just gonna stick it through. And pull that one all the way through and then put it in your last one. Don't worry if they're not stained because you can get it at the end. Yes, Mamie does sell the Barely Art Glue also. So then I just push these together. And then what I did on this one, if you use the organza ribbon, like on this one, I didn't have to do anything. This isn't tied, this is nothing, and it holds it closed. But what I did on these, oh, oh I do have some more ribbon. This is the end of my ribbon. Oh, you know what I did? I pulled it out. <laughs> I pulled it out of here because I didn't let it dry enough. Okay, so what I did is after I got them all together, then I tied another knot around it. So once I had them through, I just tied another string around the top. So I'll just show you with this one. Because this one's dry. Yes, a tiny crochet hook would work. I didn't have any problems with the bigger ones. The bigger ones have a little bit bigger holes. So once you get them all on top then I took a string and this small one is the only one I had problem with I think because this string is well the other one I really didn't either and it was thin string too put it way at the bottom so pull this up and then tie the knot there. So now, and then you can cut the string to fit how you want. And it would have the tag on there. Remember to let this dry. Okay. So we're gonna do this one. These should be dry on the side. And we gotta figure out which one is the straight one. And so it's this bottom one. See how that's sticking out there? So I know that one is more of the square. So then we're gonna choose one next to that one and bend down, not all the way. And we're gonna put glue on that one. If you're planning on putting something heavy in there, I would have used a little more glue. And 
And then I'm going to put glue on this piece. And you can push it down. Yes, I think this would be great to put on, to hang on a tree. Okay, now you push these in. And I kind of just kind of get it to go first before I start. See now this piece here, I need to push that down more. There we go. So that's why I do this. Check all the sides that they're going in properly. And we have the tag here. I don't have the other piece of the tag that says a gift for you just because we didn't cut that out. But I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Um, did I lose my thread, my ribbon? Here it is. Ooh, I got this one on clearance for 97 cents. Okay, for that big one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I did about 12 inches. You don't really need that long. And then I need a smaller one for the tag. So we're just going to put this tag on. This is really pretty. But I just want to show you how to put the tag on. So I cut these at an angle so they're easier to put through the holes. And here's this one. So we're just going to pick one of these. Hello, Joan, Miss Super Klutz. What is the difference between the art glitter glue and the barely art glue? The art glitter glue is temperature. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It cannot be frozen or it doesn't work. So this one can be shipped in the winter. To be honest, that is the only difference that I see. Uh, you know what? I need to pull this all the way through. And then I need to push this. So I'm holding this ribbon down so I still see part of that hole. And put the corner through and pull that through. So I'm going to glue these pieces down. You could tie a knot here if you wanted to. A knot with this ribbon would not have held it very well. This ribbon might hold a knot better, but I'm just going to go ahead and glue them down. That's what I did on the others. Okay, and then I'm going to, still not glued down, but it's going to be fine. I'm going to put these down and glue these. You know what, I'm going to glue these together because this is organza. It's kind of thin and see-through. And then I'm going to put glue here, here. putting lots of glue on there and I'm going to hold that down and then I have this extra piece um, I'm going to put it 
this way. I think I'm going to put it this way. And I have some of that ribbon sticking out, but we can always cut that off. I'm going to add more glue and then we're going to hold this down. So if you guys have questions, ask me some questions because we're going to be sitting here for a minute while this glue sticks down. And see some of that ribbon sticking out of the square? We can always cut that off. Sorry, Annie, you can watch um, the beginning of the video afterwards. You can probably skim through it. And now we're going to get rid of all this glue on my fingers by rubbing my fingers together. Oh, I also want to show you while this is drying. It's not drying very well. I need to hold it down. On this paper, I went across the outside with a black marker because you can see the edges when it's all together. This one's not so bad because you still see white on it. But if you wanted to go around the edges so you didn't see any of that, you could do that. Let's try it with this one. And all I did was these right here. Oh, I also did the bottom. And I did the bottom after it was already on here. So I just went across it because these sides of these were all white and it just didn't look good. So I went around it with marker. This one doesn't look bad, but if you have like dark paper that's white on the other side or white core, you want to go around it with the marker. I'm going to cut off the extra ribbon that I see here. I could even cut that that okay I think I'm done with the glue now So then what we do is go through here. I'm going to use a little tool. I'm worried that's not dry. I guess we'll find out, won't we? It's all sticking. And then doesn't matter which side you go through next. I'm being careful in case it's not dry. I think I'm being careful. almost starting to rip because it's so wet with glue and then I'm gonna stick it through this one there we go 
and these are on a loop so you can put these on a Christmas tree so here's the tree that's directional paper this because this was the sides we had to glue together and then we had to glue this side together too so that's what that looks like here's the tag and I try to put the tag over the spot here but you could also glue something on here and glue the tag on there put a little flower or something there if you wanted to isn't that fun oh but you should fill it first before you close the top like this one see it holds a lot this is the big one but these will be great for Halloween uh, Valentine's Day Christmas treats you can put cash in them but it's that neat And I could always put a sticker on here that says to or from or a gift for you or anything like that. But once you make one, it really becomes easy at first. You got to get the hang of the scoring that, but it, it's really not that hard. Yeah, these would be great for cash because you wouldn't expect cash to be in it. <laughs> Shirley says fill them with pennies. It might be too heavy to fill with pennies. I don't know. It depends. A small one you probably could. Yeah, I, I can't wait to see more of the pattern ones that you guys do. I think it's neat with the pattern too. And this could be for anything, even though it has those trees, they're just trees. They're not decorated for Christmas. This would be pretty for someone's birthday. And it's just a really pretty box. And I love the organza ribbon on it best also. It holds it good. It stays shut with it. And then once they open it, they can shut it back again by putting it through. See, this one is just stained shut with just the organza ribbon. So I suggest using organza ribbon, not this thin ribbon. And this one wasn't so pretty, so I just tied some of the ribbon around this for the picture. It's just not pretty with just that. This makes it so much more prettier and holds it closed better. All right, guys. Uh, who bought the mystery box? Um, and we have that sunshine project, I'm thinking. Should we do that one? Let me show you. If you missed it, we made this. Um, it's not in boxes. It's in new. Let me refresh. So click on new. We did this on Saturday. It was a Pinterest inspired. It might. What do we think? The sunshine state of mind. I think I could press it all at one time. Do you guys want me to do that on Thursday night? Yeah, there's lots of things you can do with this box. With these boxes 
and they could go for any holiday and especially Christmas you can hang them in the tree until you give them to the people Cricut has sent some of the coupons for the $30 coupon for buying the hundred but they have not all been sent yet I think there's a problem and I don't know what that problem is quite yet. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to let you go. It's been just over a little over an hour. We have the class tonight or the crop tonight. Thank you, Donna. All right, guys, I will see some of you tonight in the crop at 8 p.m. Eastern. Love you guys. Bye. Yeah, I think I will try to do the sunshine um, thing with Infusible Ink. We'll do it on a t-shirt. That way, for some of you that just got the infusible ink and haven't used it yet, uh, we'll see how to do it. We'll do it with all those different colors.